I gotta be honest, man. 40%. That's gonna be the key come this Saturday. It's 40%. Wake Forest, right, in the course of four games, only completed 40% of their third downs, bro. Florida State, we've completed over 50% of our third downs. That's gonna be huge this weekend. Most people look at all the other numbers. Oh, the passing, this and that. The passing completions, Florida State still leads. The, the freaking passing efficiency, Florida State still leads. But, and the crazy thing is, Wake Forest passes the ball more than Florida State. More of their receivers has more touchdowns than, than our receivers. That's a known fact. I don't have to put those stats up, but for you guys out there that, that love stats, we can go ahead and take a look at that right now to show you how many actual like passing touchdown their, their players have over there at Wake Forest. Let me tell you, man, they have a bunch. Um, A.T. A. Perry, two. Jamal Banks, five. Devontae Green, two. Um, Tyler Moore, two. Blake Weinhart, three. That's a lot, bro. They have a total of 16 total passing touchdowns. But how many rushing touchdowns they got? Four. Let's go to Florida State, right? We are a more balanced team, bro. I'm not just saying that because I'm a Florida State team, Florida State fan. The proof is right here in the stats. Let me just show you what Florida State, what, what we're doing right now on offense and why we are more well-versed than them. Rushing touchdowns, right? Florida State has 12. Passing touchdowns, right? We have seven. You understand what I'm saying? We are more well-versed team, bro. And we have a three-headed back that any one of those guys at any given night can go and score, can bust a 60-yard play from scrimmage touchdown. We have, wait, enough about Florida State, right? Let's go and let's go to Wake Forest. Cause I want you guys, I want to, I want you guys to understand something on what I'm looking at when I'm looking at Wake Forest stats. Now these are just stats. I don't care about watching them or how they perform. I, I'm looking at the stats right now, right? We can make another video on about, oh, but they do this, but they do that. No, 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 that's not true. None of that stuff is true. None of that stuff matters when it comes to Florida State. Cause all that matters is what Florida State does well, what Wake Forest does well, what Florida State does bad, and what Wake Forest does bad. And at this point in the season, bro, Florida State hasn't done wrong. What has we done wrong yet? Our defense is playing at a high level, right? That's one. Defense playing at a high level. Two, the only questionable thing I say that Florida State has right now is the run defense. But Wake Forest don't run the ball. So why would we care about Wake? Why, why do we care that Wake Forest is a good team when Wake Forest doesn't run the ball? Wake Forest is going to go past the ball. They're going to play right into our defense. Yeah, go past the ball. Let our defensive ends, our defensive tackles, our interior get sacks. And that's what's going to happen. I guarantee you guys this weekend, right? Florida State will have at least five sacks. Mark it right now. You can put it right now. Florida State, we're going to have more than five sacks. Five sacks or more this weekend. I guarantee it. It's going to happen. Why? because Wake Forest is a pass happy team. Now Wake Forest do have an okay offense a lot. Don't get me wrong, cause they're any team that passes the ball like how they do and get so many touchdowns like they do, the offensive line has to be somewhat a good offensive line. So they do have a decent offensive line. Don't get Stop me wrong. the cap. But if you guys see what Florida State done, bro, if you see the way our defense has stepped up within these past few weeks, can't but only say, we're gonna get sacks, interceptions, turnovers. That's what's gonna happen. And let me take the point favorite, right? Now, I don't know how many points Vegas got this by the point betters. I don't know how many points they got to spread by, but I'm gonna give you this, right? Florida State went by more than 10 points. I'm gonna say Florida State's win this game by 10 or more points. Why? It's cause we are more diverse than them. We do more things than they do. We pass the ball, right? We got a running attack. They have to key on too many things. And this game, the big thing for Wake Forest is gonna be key. Who should we key on? Should we key on the running backs or should we key on the receivers? And that's gonna play right into our hands because not only you got the running backs running the ball, right? You got the running backs, you got Jordan Travis, and you got receivers out there, right? Those are three main things. Wake Forest don't got that. Wake Forest does not run the ball. They, they don't run the ball. They just don't run the ball. I mean, look. Right? Let me just show you this. Let me go to the attempts. 
The highest running back got 52 attempts with one TD. Averaging 3.6 yards, right? Let's go to Florida State. Let's let's go to our running back. Let me see how many yards he's averaging. Just to let you guys know this. Trayshawn Ward averaged 6.5 yards a carry. Trey Benson averaged 7.2. Lawrence, uh, I'm not pronouncing his name, I'm sorry. Lawrence Tafil averages 5.3 yards a carry. Do you not understand? Let me, let me put that in perspective for you guys. That means every time one of, one of our running backs touches the ball and run, he's getting he's gonna get six yards. Six or seven yards of carry. Almost eight yards. Cause let's put okay, let's put six point five at seven. Let's put seven point two at seven. They're gonna average almost seven, seven to eight yards of carry. That's huge. And that's what's gonna separate this game from the top from the bottom. Special teams, our special teams. It's ironed out. Hey, Wake Forest special teams, it's ironed out as well. But I'm guys, I haven't been wrong yet. I have not been wrong yet. Jordan Travis is 60 for 91 passing the ball, right? Let's look at their quarterback. Their quarterback is 64 for 100 at 64% completion rate, right? Jordan Travis completion rate is a 65.9. The, the, the stats alone proves that Florida State is going to win this game. I'm telling you, I haven't been wrong yet. The stats alone, I'm not looking at the past 80 years. We're looking at today. So, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know what everyone's out there. Oh, this is going to be a tough game for Florida State. Florida State will win this game by 10 or more points, bro. And it's going to be, I'm saying, I'm like, in my mind, I'm saying, oh, this is going to be a close game, a tough game. But really, it's not. It's going to be a tough game for the viewers to watch because we want Florida State to win. And Wake Forest want their team to win as well. But I'm telling you, I just believe, right? I just think, based on the stats, based on how um, Wake Forest plays, based on how Florida State plays, 10 or more points, Florida State. Uh, we improve to 5-0. and no. Wake Forest go to 3-2. and two, And um, they're probably going to be ranked number 25 after this. So, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments on, um, yeah, man, what's going to happen, bro? Let me know what you guys think was going to happen in the, um, in the comments, man. Let me know. Let me know. But, um, yeah, man, I think it's a dub for Florida State, bro. I think we improved to 5-0. and Then we go to Clemson and NC State. But, um, we do have a three-game stretch. And I think this first game, just stand on Wake Forest, I think Florida State goes. I think Wake Forest comes to Florida State and leaves, packing their bag, going home, and they're not going to be able to, you know, withstand our offense and or our defense. But I'm telling you, five sacks and at least two turnovers. Five sacks, two turnovers, Florida State. I'm not lying. That's going to happen. But um, because you guys know this video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more. I'm out. Peace.